How's it going, everybody? Uh, Sam here with Showtime Auto Detail, and I just want to show you guys my trailer setup. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube. They'll have trailers, and they'll also have mostly vans, and I just want to show you guys how I set up mine, and yeah. So at first, whenever you open the door, this is what you see. Got some rubber mats from Home Depot and cut them up to size, and put them down on the floors also got some boards for the side to cover up the wood and it looks a lot more aesthetically appealing to me uh generator which i have an inverter just it went out on me using this for now uh have my dewalt electric pressure washer right here this thing's great i highly recommend it a small air compressor which if you're going to be using your tornador a lot I highly recommend you get something that's just slightly bigger than this because it will mow through your air. Uh, extractor for doing carpets and just a rigid vacuum from Home Depot. Uh, one thing I will also recommend to some people, if you don't already, is get a wand that has a swivel built into it. And it'll make your life a lot better whenever it comes to washing the car. Because I'm sure if you have, you'll notice that your hose will get kinked up. Um, have these little wall mounts here just to clip some things onto and hold some stuff. Uh, after that, I have these cabinets. Got these cabinets from Home Depot as well. Uh, these things are great. To me, I like these a lot more just rather than like the typical wood shelf that a lot of people have. It's like I really wanted to go with the black and red theme because that's what my logo is as well. And anyways, when you open these up right here, I just have some, you know, some bead makers, some soap. Don't call me for the chemical guys. Some subs lab stuff. I heard a lot of good things about them. So I want to try them out so far. They've been okay. Uh, steamer, some little miscellaneous stuff in there. Uh, in this cabinet, I have some microfiber towels i get my microfiber towels from sam's club and they have all kinds of different colors and that's why i like them so much and they're 15 dollars a piece for 36 so not a bad deal next up is another rack uh i'll use these to put my drying towels on to let them air out um, and i also use it to hold my buffers down here I just have a trash can and a few more spray bottles, some wash buckets, spare tires, uh, dirty rags, gas can for the generator. I have a step ladder right here. Uh, some more buckets, another bucket. I just have them drilled into the wall. Uh, this is a toolbox. Literally took the shelves out of these, out of this, and behind it, just drilled it into the wall of the trailer. Got little tools in these drawers and applicators and gloves, some glass cleaner, you know, just some vacuum attachments, all kind of junk. Uh, and some more spray bottles. Uh, other than that, I have another little bag here in case I need to go anywhere, like to a boat dock or something like that. I can just take what I need in that bag and I'm good to go. I got a spray bottle holder. Uh, I got this off of Amazon for I think $30 and so far I've loved it. Um, makes my life a lot easier whenever I come through the door here and I need something quick and easy. I can just grab and go, get what I need to go. This is my water tank. My water tank is from Track Supply and it is a 65 gallon tank. I would say I can get around three cars out of it. Um, after that, it's kind of pushing it. Uh, it's got extra hoses and extension cords and another rack. Uh, shout out to my dad for this one. He helped me out with the PVC in here. Uh, this pump is also from Track Supply. It's just a water transfer pump. And we have PVC pipe ran through and out to the side of the trailer where I have a water spigot. And then underneath, I also have a little valve where I can drain the water out of my tank if it's ever cold outside. So I'm here in Georgia and not often, but every now and then it'll 
reach freezing temperatures and the last thing I wanted was to have the water expand and freeze and break my tank. I also have another spigot on this side. As you can see, PVC runs underneath the trailer and onto this side. So no matter what side of the house I am on or wherever I'm at when I'm detailing, I can hook up my pressure washer to either side of the trailer. Other than that, that is my trailer. Uh, I wanted to have something kind of simple and reliable. Uh, I didn't really want to have any wood shelves anywhere in the way so this is what we did and so far it's worked great uh other than that thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time